Dude, check out how nice this vertical application is. Behind a fake wall, we can get to the entire thing. I mean, this thing is just a dream install. Hey, buddy. You here to help us uh, install today? So the outdoor units, by code, have to be floor level. So basically where that door, the bottom of that door frame, we have to mount it on the wall with an L bracket over here. So it's going to be a lot nicer than these cinder blocks for this Linux unit. That one's coming out. And uh, make sure it doesn't cover the meter, since that has electrical with car flex on both sides. I could probably just move that over real easy. But yeah, the unit's going to go right there, so let's get it done. Look at these fancy new field piece hoses. These are A2L, apparently. But uh, these are, this is nice. All black with just these clip-ons. Like the magnets that goes around the magnets that go around wires. This is pretty sweet. Start killing them. Try a 50. He said try a 50. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. That's oh, it. that one right there. Got a sharpie on you? I was reading about that the other day. How how actual total silence can like literally drive humans insane. Oh yeah. Uh, so they have like a they have a room. It's the quietest room in the world. Which of course that wormhole. Yeah, you can that. spend 24 hours in there. That's what I saw. Yep. Dude, that's crazy, huh? And then they said something about, and also Rolls Royce. Oh yeah, they made a car so quiet that it actually gave the drivers, uh, yeah, it, like it made anxiety. Them, like, yeah, anxiety. So they actually had to create noise. But they had to make it noisier. Yeah, they had to, so they had to add a whisper for the terminology they use. That's crazy, dude. It's funny. I don't know, if, yeah, I don't, after reading about it, I don't know if I ever want to experience that. <laughs> nah. It sounds, uh, it sounds like a form of torment. It is, actually. I guess the Russians probably have a quiet room. 100% KGB gun. I'll lose these. Oh no. I, uh, I not only that, I also keep them, like the one I don't use just in case. Yeah. I keep a couple of them. I mean, you're just gonna end up we with don't that. need that, right? What? The dryer. It needs to go inside. We know okay. that. It's gotta go in the, it's gotta go closer to the evaporator so that it catches Anything in the line, it catches it going towards okay, the evaporator. So, but regardless of what machine this is? It, they definitely want it on the fit, but we should put it well, on... That's weird because I was told not to do them on the, on the last five we've done. Like, 14 series? Not, a, not like, I guess, well, he told me it's a certain models. And I would I kept at, hey, is this one of the ones we get to do a field dry? He said, hey, look at it. No, this one's built in. Oh, you're talking about the 14 series? The 14 series... The big machine like that? Those oh no, built, that those one. are built in. Okay. Yeah, those are built in. Well, he told me that these are too. No, they're not. Because he uh, he showed me a paper showing where, and showed, told me that it's inside the machine. Who? Spencer Clay. Spencer and Clay was there. Why would they send it if it's? Uh, I have no idea. Exactly. I asked the same question. Because the 14 seer we had the other day, it also came at one, and he showed me visually through the top of the unit that it was in there. Yeah, you always want the filter installed before the metering device on the inside, especially yeah. when we're reusing the line set, so that if there's anything in the line, because we're pushing refrigerant through the liquid line to the out, to the to the evaporator coil, yeah, you want it before the metering device so that we catch anything that could be in the pipe at the dryer, and it's easier to replace a dryer than replace an expansion valve, and then everything after the dryer is just do copper anyway. So our measurements, we weren't able to catch a stud right here. We thought it was in this area, but we started using this just to see, and we found a light spot right there. Followed it all the way straight down, moved the nut over, 
right into a stud. So this is actually uh, quite useful for hanging brackets outside. That's your mark right there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you came here so <laughs> Just beat it. The old meat hammer. Jeez. As Justin calls it. That kind of weirds me out, but okay. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were talking about when they talked about meat hammer in the longest yard. <laughs> Probably not. Wait, you want the edge of it on that mark? Center. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. I have to put one back in here. No, somewhere. Still looking at it. Look how it pulls off. Uh, well, that one don't do that. It's because it's closer. We don't have an option. That's where the stud is. Holds me. This does suck. Watch out, skinny man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't weigh more than me, so. <laughs> All right. Good and level. Hmm. I don't like that. Not They're solid over here, but. Yeah, I'm just waiting for somebody to look behind it and be like, what to do with that? The only we, option would we, be a toggle bolt, and we don't have a toggle bolt. <laughs> we can't get in it. It won't hit anything right there, huh? Not even plywood, not nothing. It'll hit plywood, but it's just gonna pull out. I mean, we could try and get it nice and snug. What's the You don't think it'll Here, just keep that? it from pulling out? That's a lot of weed, a lot of leverage. Yeah. Wouldn't have to try. It looks better. Well, at least visually, you won't get a look behind it and be like, You do dips? You want to see me cry? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, God, this is the heavy set. Uh, um, get yours on? I gotta come closer, right? There. You're like, oh, shit. You're like, friends, pivot. Yeah. Pivot. <laughs> It's holding. <laughs> well, I hope so. With this bracket, we still have all this distance in the front it's because we're maxed out at the back. Yeah. Oh. So we can't go any further. I'd love to see it at the end of the bracket, but yeah, it's the one that I got. So one issue with the angled siding is the bracket doesn't sit 100% level, and it really shows on the unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some washers under this bolt to raise up the back a little bit just to keep the unit low. So we're going to take the copper, come up, 90 it, back of the unit, straight into our connections. We're going to use the electrical right here, come up to a disconnect, and the side of the disconnect will shoot straight over into the back of the unit. So all of the connections will be extremely invisible, basically not even noticeable to where, you know, everything looks good compared to our uh, competitor where that does not look that good. So everything's going to be nice and hidden and this unit is going to look awesome. So we added those two washers on both sides. Take a look at what it looks like now off the wall. Looks so much better. So I'm going to leave it to the guys. They're going to hook up the unit and then I'll see if I can get a video at the end. You can't tell me it's not nice to get into a vertical application and be able to get to every single part of the plenum to reseal it. Like there's absolutely no reason that this isn't gonna turn out to be like one of the best jobs ever. Thank you one and run test. Let's check out how this thing turned out. Yeah, it's really nice to work with the uh all the way around, huh? Yeah. Get it.
and beat that. Up. <laughs> yeah, if we were on the South Shore in New Orleans, we'd have a lot that were under the house. Right. Let's get that pipe put it above the evaporator pan. Yeah, definitely a perfect seal all the way around. Water for that trap. That's what he's in. Sweet. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. See what the outdoor he looks like. You got friends here now? Hey. It's the best part of my job is meeting everybody's dogs. Yes. Yes, we are friends. My dogs are gonna be so mad when they smell you. Run test. See how this turned out. Ready, killed it. Looking good. That's exactly how I wanted that copper and electrical to fall out. Looking good. Pretty tight. Looking good. Now, if only we had uh, this one to match. Maybe one day, but not today. Tell you what, I might have to get these hoses. These look so cool. Apparently they're A2O, you know, compliant. But uh, dude, these right here, I mean, this just looks so modern now. The things you have to upgrade to keep up with everybody. Oh yeah, that looks way better than having it on the center blocks. Nice on the bracket. They get rid of that uh, concrete slab. Just put some grass down. Getting some more room. Everything is nice and clean. Can't beat it. It's a lot quieter too.